I am now going to give a demonstration on how the leaves would fit within a scroll. I've done a very quick little sketch here. It's the ladder or the growing plants. These are all spaced out naturally as it grows to the center. So no matter what I do, I don't always trace out first. This is just fairly rough. It's just doing a demonstration of how I, if this was a shape of scroll, it's pretty rough and it's slightly distorted on the screen, but here we go. Uh, let's work. Now, I don't touch this area here. This is the backbone. This, all of this area within here is going to be the stem from which the, grow, the leaves grow. So, I start with one, maybe a large one because it's just a demonstration on a piece of paper and I am going to fill it. So, number one stroke, like I keep telling you, we can put this movement in here. Now we have to start where that stem would be and I will bring this out here. Now, because I want to fill in this space here, and I'm going to this area here, and I don't want to leave an awkward space, so I've got to shape out my leaf and find out which way I want it to go. So I want to go in that direction. This leaf may go like so, right? So I could turn it there, so it's coming over there, and it's going to fill in this awkward space. I would do another one like this. I... Uh, but that would make it rather bulbous. So I'll take another cut this way and make it. So I've got one. another shape leaf. It's what becomes a natural rhythm to get to that area. I'll try another one now. So there's the stem. There's the backbone. I'll start here again. Work it here. Go up to around about that area. Stop there. Put that little thing in. Now, I'm going to make the stem, the stalk here. But I don't want it wide, too wide here. Maybe. You can do it. But I'm going to try this. So now, curving, you see, all the time. Now I'm going to aim for that area there. What am I going to do? I want to fill this area in because I don't want a lot of cutting away here. So let's see what it happens. We'll try going in here, there. Now we try over this back way here. Yeah. But if I carry on, it's going to be a little fat guy. So I'll bring this down here to see what it's like. Mm. Not what I always do, but similar. Try another one. There, yeah, so now we have another one here. I'll move this slightly out of the way and move this other area here. No, I'm going to make it a larger one. See now, because I've got less area within this area, so these leaves are fairly large, so it doesn't make it too much of an effort to get to that area. And I will. So, you see, so now I'm moving around, I'm coming up the step ladder, I'm coming back on myself again. Curves, curves, all the time. So, maybe start a little one in there, very fine, just to put the head in there, see where we're going. Turning my paper or my working device to see where I'm going, going at. Around, stopping halfway up there, there, so it gives me enough area here. I can make it a little bit so, and I can go in and move this in here, right? So we gradually filling as we go. You see, as it goes, it's just it's a ladder. You start here again, come around. <coughs> we don't try to fill in 
in a hurry. It's got to take its time. It's a growing plant. All these leaves started with a large seed leaf first and it gradually builds up more leaves as it grows. So we can get them a bit smaller as they come in. More of that shape. Now we're going to, this is going to be not just the ending of the plant, but that is where the plant may have opened first. So you're aiming for this. Now we've got this other one here. Coming here. I think this one will be the last of the lot. So we go back. To this area. And then we'll put the final stroke in here. So now we have these this movement here. This would have been the backbone here. This is the area now that you will cut away. So this will be come black. With this area, you will cut these areas away here and fill these in so they're black. Okay. I won't do the full amount in here because this is just a quick demo and I'm not going to make it too complicated for you but I hope it's not too complicated for you I'm trying to just give you a little bit of a insight in how to form my leaves here you can look at my other stuff that I've done with more detail and um, to actually see but this is a little demonstration to give you the initial layout of uh, what we what I'm aiming for so that that's what we will do all the way around it, it will get it dark and then of course that will end up with some shading in here of some kind to form this you will look at it and see where you need to go maybe another one in here but you don't have a shade as I mentioned before so like that you do the same here you look where it's coming from uh, you see even with this one here I don't actually like that shape itself there but I could make it look as though it was a larger leaf but it was leaning over so I can do that and it can change the shape like so you see so that I'd have to shade this in here to make it look as though it's going underneath and bring out my shading here and I would shade up there and I would shade down here like so you see so you can alter the shapes you can put leaves in this, if it's too large, it looks rather large like that. To make it a little bit more complex and uh, interesting, a leaf changes and it folds over on itself and it comes back, and shade, and so on, like this. So, a quickie, but let me know if you've got any problems and I will correct them.